Okay, you guys know I've got your back, so don't waste money on things you don't need. Don't spend time in lines when you don't need to spend time in lines. But we've got a bunch of other things that you can go ahead and skip when you are in Disney World. We're giving you permission. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Today we are gonna talk about some things you can actually skip in Disney World. So everybody is always telling you, you've gotta do this, you've gotta do that. Well, we're gonna give you your time and your money back today by letting you know some things you can skip, you don't have to do. So the first thing is meeting characters in the parks. Now, of course you wanna meet characters and of course you want your kids to get those autographs, but you can always kill two birds with one stone, as they say, by going to a character meal. You have to eat, and even though character meals can be a little bit pricey, you can save tons of time and fast passes in the parks by going to a character meal for breakfast and meeting a bunch of characters at once. So like I said, this saves you time waiting in line in the parks, and that includes waiting in line in the heat of the parks, and it saves your fast passes. You don't have to spend a fast pass on meeting Mickey or meeting Rapunzel. You can see them at character breakfasts instead. Now for the Fab Five, head over to Chef Mickey's, Tusker House, Hollywood and Vine, or Garden Grill. For princesses, try Cinderella's Royal Table, Trattoria Al Forno, and Akershus. And you can see Cinderella in the evenings at 1900 Park Fair. Now if you choose some of the less crowded restaurants, you'll get even more time with the characters. So these would be Garden Grill, Kate May Cafe, and even Trattoria Al Forno. You can go check out our character meal video for all the details on those. Remember that sometimes at these character meals, you'll get to see rare characters or location specific costumes you won't get to see in the parks. So that's another great reason to go ahead and meet characters at those character meals instead of in the parks. Now remember to always go to breakfast because breakfast is gonna be the cheapest character meal option for you. And like I said, watch that character meal video because we give all kinds of tips like don't go to buffets, instead go to those family style meals, especially if you have little, little ones, because then you don't have to get up and haul a kid up to the buffet and keep track of them. Your food comes to you in the family style meal. So do go check out that character meal video. We've got all of our tips in there. Next thing you can go ahead and skip in Walt Disney World, those long lines. Do not waste your time in line, you guys. We have a whole video about that too, specifically saying the worst way to waste your time is standing in line in Disney World. So here's a little cheat sheet how to stay out of those long lines. Some rides will have long lines all day, so plan on getting fast passes for those popular ones, like Flight of Passage, Slinky Dog Dash, or Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And if you weren't able to get a fast pass, go ahead and hit those attractions at Rope Drop or during extra magic hours in the morning. Now other lines might be long midday or earlier in the day, like Spaceship Earth since it's close to the front of Epcot. So everybody goes to Spaceship Earth first because it's the first ride they see. So go ahead and skip those when they're long and come back later. They'll be much shorter later on in the day. Now use the My Disney Experience app to keep tabs on wait times and ride whatever has the shortest lines at the time rather than having a plan to hit certain ones in a certain order. But don't forget we've got that other video about how not to waste your time in line and there's tons of tips and tricks in there as well. So go check that one out. Next thing you can go ahead and skip, you guys who watch DFB Guide videos all the time know what I'm gonna say here, don't you? Paying for bottled water when you can get it for free in the parks, just skip it, don't pay for it. When it's hot out, water stations are available at quick service locations, but if you don't see any, just ask for a cup of water. They will have some ready to go at the counter. And you can also bring a water bottle to fill up. Just know that only a few newer areas of Disney World will have those water bottle refill stations. Otherwise, it's more standard to just have a water fountain. But when bottled water is around $5, we will deal with filling up our bottle at a water fountain and save that money for snacks. Now I do think the bottle refill stations are going to become more and more commonplace because we did see them all over Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland. So some people don't love the taste of Orlando water, so consider bringing water flavoring as well. That's still gonna cost you a lot less than a bunch of bottled water from Disney World. All right, next thing you can go ahead and skip, certain meals to save more money. With the size of Disney World meals, you usually don't need three full meals a day, or at least most of us don't. So you can probably get by on two full meals a day and then maybe having a snack for your third meal. But we recommend having a brunch, so maybe eating around 10 o'clock or 10.30, and then having an early dinner, maybe around four o'clock or 4.30, and supplementing with snacks closer to bedtime. Because portions at Disney World really are huge, 
So if you're planning on three meals per day, consider splitting larger entrees between two people and skip getting two desserts when they're large, which is most of them. You can also skip table service meals entirely. There used to be a time when quick service at Disney World meant bad food, but nowadays you can get some pretty great options for a lot less than table service meals. Even dishes you'd be surprised to find at a counter service location, like pretty much everything at Be Our Guest Lunch and that new pot roast at ABC Commissary. So we actually have, as I'm doing as I'm doing this voiceover, remembering all these videos, we actually do have a video all about how uh, there are some quick service locations that have better food than table service. So go watch that video and we can tell you all about those ones that we recommend. So opting for more quick service and fewer table service not only saves you money, but time too, which can be super valuable if you're trying to squeeze in as many rides as possible. All right, next thing you can go ahead and skip in Disney World is a little bit controversial, so I understand both sides of this point. But we're gonna throw it out here for you anyway, just in case it's helpful and valuable to some of you. And that's car rental. So some of us really, really like to rent a car and have our own car at Walt Disney World, but some people have shared that they love being chauffeured around for their whole vacation. They don't mind they have to wait a little bit longer for the bus or plan a little bit around Disney transportation. So while having a car at Disney World can certainly be convenient, especially if you're staying off site or visiting other theme parks in the area. You don't need to rent one if you're staying on Disney property. Disney has all those transportation options, both free and paid, to get you literally everywhere you could need to be. And also, don't forget about those resort parking fees, which just increased to $15 for value resorts, $20 for moderate resorts, and $25 for deluxe resorts per night. That adds up. If you're there for five nights at a deluxe resort, you're going to pay an extra $125 in parking parking fees. So think about that when you're considering car rental. It's definitely not something you have to do. All right, the next thing you can go ahead and skip in Disney World are those expensive souvenirs. Now, we understand that some of you prioritize your souvenir purchases. You save up all year to buy those when you're in Disney World. I get it. Go for it if that's your thing. But if you're headed to Disney World for the first time and worried about those souvenir expenses, don't be. You don't have to buy that stuff, guys. It's not required. If you have little ones with you, buy some things ahead of time from shopdisney.com. Those are authentic Disney souvenirs that you can get at a discount that you can get on sale. You can even get park merchandise on sale over at Shop Disney. So buy those ahead of time for the little ones, bring them in your suitcases, and then when they're starting to want souvenirs when you're in Disney World, you can just pull them out and say, here you go. And you can also purchase Memory Maker before you go and have photos be your souvenir. Only one person in your group needs to have it. As long as everyone's in the photos together, everyone can basically have a souvenir. So don't worry about the expensive souvenirs. Maybe set aside a small budget to get a few things to commemorate your trip, but it is not the law that you have to buy expensive souvenirs at Disney World, I promise. Now the next thing you can go ahead and skip in Disney World if you want or need to is the deluxe resorts. There's no denying some of the deluxe resorts at Disney World are beautiful and have incredible theming, but if you're not planning on spending much time in your room, you can skip those pricey accommodations and spend your money elsewhere like an extra day in the park, a nice dinner, or maybe an after hours event or Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party with your family. Now, moderate resorts at Disney World still have a lot of the amenities of the deluxe resorts, like table service restaurants, without the price tag. And don't let the name fool you. Some of the rooms at value resorts, like the family suites at Art of Animation, are super nice and really unique and offer excellent accommodations for people who want to be able to close the door and leave the kids outside. Also, remember that Coronado Springs Resort is opening a brand new Grand Destino Tower in July. So that's going to give us a giant new deluxe resort-esque tower section, several new dining options, and don't forget Coronado Springs still has the gym and salon that you only find at deluxe resorts. Coronado is the only moderate that has those, but there are still moderate resort prices there. So try Coronado Springs. You get a lot of the amenities for the deluxe resorts without paying the deluxe prices. And remember, all Disney resort guests get access to the special Disney amenities like package delivery, extra magic hours, complimentary magic band with your reservation, 60 day fast pass window and more so why pay more when you get the same perks now if your family prioritizes nice accommodations then go deluxe for sure it's really nice to be able to walk to parks although don't forget that Skyliner's opening so you're gonna have a great transportation option from several resorts that have never had anything but bus transportation but if you'd rather spend the extra money on more park tickets or an extra special event that's okay too 
All right, the next thing you can totally skip in Disney World if you need to is rope drop. If you're not a morning person, don't worry about changing your sleep schedule just to make rope drop. Crowds are gonna be a lot lower if you arrive to the parks before 10 a.m. So even if you don't get there right at eight o'clock, if you get there at nine or 9.30, you're still gonna have some significantly lower crowds. You'll be able to ride a couple of things. But also remember, you can opt for an after hours event instead if you wanna drop that cash. Those are hard ticket events, but you can skip a day in the parks and buy one of those instead. So you can ride a lot of the rides you would want to prioritize in the park that day without having to battle the heat of Orlando or fast passes or the crowds. Plus, with your after hours event ticket, you'll be able to get into the park a little bit earlier, probably around 7 p.m., so you can still enjoy some of the activities of a normal park day before the after hours event begins. Another thing you can go ahead and skip when you're in Disney World is the opening show in Magic Kingdom. Now, I know some of you, including my dad, just turned off this video because <laughs> my dad loves the opening show at Magic Kingdom, and I know a lot of you do too. But if you are getting up super early to get to the park, you're probably at rope drop to get on rides. And staying to watch the opening show at Magic Kingdom is gonna set you further back in the pack. So if you're there to ride rides, go ahead and ride rides. You can watch the opening show at Magic Kingdom on YouTube later. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. And finally, something else you can skip when you're in Walt Disney World is long attractions if you are short on time. I know a lot of you have short trips, you're only there for a couple of days, and you're trying to pack in as much as possible. So look at how long the attractions are. A lot of people never do this. They never look at those super long attractions and think, well, let's eschew those and go on shorter, more popular attractions. So things that are super long that you might be able to skip. Hall of Presidents, American Adventure in Epcot, which if my dad didn't turn off the video he just did because we love that too and carousel of progress all super long rides great rides great attractions but very very long so maybe those are ones that go to the chopping block so you can ride several other rides instead and if you do want to go to those attractions you will have to wait to get into the theater as well so in addition to the 30 minutes in length that the actual attraction takes you've got to wait so it's going to be an hour basically to go on those attractions so just work that in or plan to not do those attractions and instead do several other attractions. So there are a few things you guys can skip in Walt Disney World. I hope that's helpful to you. Now again, I want to reiterate, we're not saying that any of these are bad necessarily. If you like meeting characters in the parks, super. If you want to stay deluxe resort, great. There's nothing wrong with those things. If you want to pay $5 for a bottle of water, go for it. But these are things for those of you that are planning trips where you're maybe trying to budget a little bit, trying to see more rides and experience more attractions, or trying to double up on something like meeting characters and eating breakfast at the same time. Hopefully these will help you guys plan and budget your time and budget your money and give you the guilt-free go ahead to skip some things that a lot of people tell you you have to do in Disney World. Thanks for listening, you guys, and thanks for watching. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog. We can't wait to hear what you have to say in the comments. We'll see you real soon.